In order to be able to understand the land and to work it, you actually have to be on it. Usually we hear stories of people leaving the farm for a fast-paced life of jet-setting and urban freedom. John Flatbird's tale is actually the opposite. John started out flying jetliners around the world and enjoying the kind of lifestyle most people would envy. But that wasn't the life that he wanted. John felt a connection with the earth that called him from the sky to the farm. And that's where he ended up. Farming a serene plot of land just north of Kanab in Kane County, Utah. His love for farming and cattle grew with each year until what others would consider the opposite of fun became his own personal form of recreation. Yeah, working on the land, it, it's, for me, it, it is, it's, it's being on vacation. It's, it's a working vacation. John started Heartwater Permaculture Farm with his wife Rhonda and began experimenting outside the box of traditional agriculture. Permaculture is the idea of developing ecosystems that are self-sufficient and sustainable. What John has been able to do here at Heartwater is nothing less than extraordinary. We're working with nature rather than against it. Basically what we're doing is building an ecosystem and then grazing it. Part of building that ecosystem is using the land and the resources in new, more effective ways. Where some would see invasive willows, John sees a natural deworming plant for his cattle and extra forage that will make his investment even more profitable. Where some would see cattle as a threat to environmental stability, John sees the opportunity to create a better balance and making the land even more fertile than it was when he took over the farm. Some of the changes he's made are simple but lasting, such as rotating his cattle from one side of the field to the other every day so that the grass has a chance to grow and give his cows better feed. He hand digs his water ditches instead of using pipes so that the land can naturally replenish itself without the need of fertilizers. Everything about the farm is eco-friendly, as John would put it, meaning both ecological and economical. Not so much for being native and natural, but making the land optimally healthy. What he puts in with a little hard work pays huge dividends financially with what he's able to avoid. John has had such an impact on the area and his desire to share what he's learned has grown so much that it's turned the Heartwater Farm into a tourist destination in and of itself. We kind of have a vision that we can use tourism to fuel the infrastructure of a new kind of agriculture that's sustainable so that we can grow our own food here and sell it locally so that we could eat our local beef and we could sell our local beef to restaurants. We get dozens of tourists come down and some of the locals, we get people from St. George, we have get uh, woofers that come here from Austria and Australia and around the world and we kind of like to think that we're in the business of changing hearts and minds. John realizes that his haven is ideal to create a self-sustaining grazing system and that many of his neighbors who graze large tracts could not duplicate what he's done. But some of it would be possible if land managers and ranchers could, like John, think outside the box. It's easy to think of farming as just work, but when you see it through the eyes of John Flatbird, and the way he understands the world around him, you get a better understanding of that connection with the earth and how it changes lives. His recreation is different than the average person, hiking or driving a four by four on a trail, but in truth, it may not be as distant as most of us think. I look forward to seeing the land grow before me, to see it being more fertile than it was, than yesterday, to know that I'm following a, a set of values of land stewardship. For me, it, it's just, it, it's seeing the land thrive because we all need a connection to the earth to do that. And that connection is what we're all searching for when we head into the back country of the West. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. 
Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.